Hi, welcome back. Uh, I have another little uh, journal to share with you. Um, I have been experimenting with all sorts of bindings, as you may well know, and I revisited the secret Belgian binding, or the actual person who discovered or originated this, Anne Goy, um, actually called it crisscross binding. Um, it's where you sew the cover, so you have exposed spine sewing, uh, but then the signatures are sewn, I don't know if you can see here, I've put a piece of book cloth around pairs of the sewings, sewing lines, and then as I went through the signature, you go down behind that and back in the signature, and so you're actually lacing uh, each of the signatures onto the uh, this little these little sewing supports. Um, so it's strong; it stays together. It doesn't try to come apart. Like it kind of looks this way, like oh my gosh, that could just easily come apart. Well, it, it really doesn't. Um, this is a kit. I, I like digi kits. I know there's plenty of people who don't, but I like digi kits. And I have found that Victoria Design digi kits have a lot of the same color waves in them that Stamperia scrapbook paper does. So that's this is not part of the digi kit from the Cosmos Stamperia kit. So anyway, I, I think this is a real uh, nice color wave kit. Uh, about dragons and magic um, and so it will be a nice little writing journal um, and because of the way this is made it lays very flat and is has room because there's a little room here for adding ephemera to without totally uh, pushing it out of shape as you can see from the end this is wider, much wider than this, so you have room for, you know, quite a bit of expansion. So that's just another little structure and an, uh, an interesting kit to consider. Hope you have a great day. See you later.